Hey guys, this is Goofer King Science. Today I want to show off this new solid state Tesla coil that I've been working on for quite a while now. The secondary coil on this is pretty large. It's four and a half inches in diameter, has 1,875 turns of 28 gauge wire, and measures just over 24 inches long. So quite a while ago I made a video on a spark gap Tesla coil. And here you can see my new coil compared to two other coils that I've made. The one on the far right is the one used in the spark gap test the coil video. The one in the middle is a second coil that I made when I first started experimenting with solid state Tesla coils. I never actually made a video on this coil as it was replaced by my much larger coil. The power circuit starts at this new variac. This new variac that I got can handle 3000 watts and with an input voltage of 110 volts it can step that all the way up to 250 volts which is pretty useful. So the logic circuits are powered by a small transformer and this first circuit is called the interrupter and it has two potentiometers and with this circuit I can control the frequency and duty cycle that the rest of the logic circuitry runs at. The big metal sheet just provides a little bit of shielding. So here we have the brains of the solid state Tesla coil, the actual drive circuit. This circuit uses an antenna to take feedback from the Tesla coil. This feedback allows us to run the Tesla coil at its resonant frequency. The output of the logic circuit needs to be electrically isolated from the rest of the Tesla coil circuit. This is accomplished by a gate drive transformer. I built mine out of a small ferrite toroid. So the powerhouse of this circuit is a CM300DU IGBT brick transistor. It can handle 300 amps and 1200 volts, so this makes it a pretty beefy unit. Right now it's not mounted on a heatsink, but at this low of power it hardly even warms up. The input from the variac is doubled and then rectified to DC. The highest I've run it at so far is around 340 volts DC. Here's the primary coil. It's 6 inches in diameter and has multiple tap points so I can experiment with different ratios of primary coil to secondary coil. The toroid is very simple. It's just some aluminum ducting held together by two pie plates and some bolts. For a breakout point I just have a screw balancing on top. Okay, let's move on to some tests. Throughout all these tests, I'm messing around with the input voltage as well as the frequency and duty cycle, so you might hear some variances in the breakout. Now it's time for some fun at lower voltage. Here's what a normal incandescent light bulb looks like when you put it on the top. It's always so much fun to bring fluorescent bulbs near the Tesla coil because they light up wirelessly in your hand. In this video I bring a large fluorescent tube near the coil and it lights up like a Jedi's lightsaber. So in the future I plan on turning this coil into a dual resonant solid state test of the coil. This will make much longer arcs and it will be pretty impressive. Anyways, stay tuned for later updates and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.